One of the most mysterious features of the brain is its ability to create a stable sense of self from something inherently unstable. Every second, neurons fire, sensations change, emotions rise and fall, yet somehow you feel like the same person today as you were yesterday. A key player in this illusion is the posterior cingulate cortex, part of the brain's default mode network. This region is especially active when you think about yourself, your past, your future, your place in the world. People who meditate deeply, dissolving the boundary between self and experience, often show reduced activity here, as if the brain momentarily lets go of its constant work of constructing an eye. When this system falters, identity itself can unravel. In certain brain injuries or psychiatric conditions, people may feel detached from themselves, as though they are watching life through a window or living someone else's story. Others may lose their autobiographical memory entirely, waking up each day unable to recall who they are. In these cases, the self is revealed for what it truly is, not a fixed essence, but a fragile narrative, pieced together by networks of neurons. What's striking is that the self is less like a single voice and more like a committee. Different brain regions argue and negotiate. Memory contributes the past. Imagination proposes the future. Emotion weighs in with desire or fear. Out of this noisy meeting emerges the illusion of one continuous person. So the self is not something you have, it is something your brain is doing at every moment. And when it stops doing it, you slip away.